Hey guys, how's it going? If you've watched the video and it's gone a little bit too fast for you and you just want a little bit more of an in-depth um, tutorial, this is what I'm going to do right here, okay? Because I've realised that this is a really, really difficult trick and it took me a while to learn, right? So um, I didn't actually figure this one out. Um, a friend of mine, Wayne, who was the previous um, Australian National Yo-Yo Champion, champion, you can check out his channel there, I actually went to a yo-yo meet and he taught me how to do this trick. So it took me a really, really long time to learn, so this is why I'm just really just going to try and run through it and like show you every single thing and every single tip I know to make it a lot easier, okay? So the trick starts off with a um, trapeze, then you put three fingers in there, um, you can put one but I usually just put three, alright? And then you shift back into a mountain like that, alright? Now that's going to be confusing for a lot of people, it's confusing for me as well. So what you do is you're essentially getting your three fingers in there, right? Then you're getting this finger, right? And you're literally just trying to loop it on while keeping this string this, just neutral, okay? You're not really doing anything with this string, you're just shifting the yo-yo back and on to this string, right? So that's what it should look like, okay? Cool. All right? Might be a little bit difficult to get. Um, if you still don't understand it, try and look at the slow-mo first person view. But pretty much it's just three fingers in, push onto that string, and land the yo-yo back. Okay? That's the first step. Step two. What you want to do is get it into that mount, right? And then if you see the string just there, the one like that, you want to push it onto that string, right? And then make your hands come out like that. Right? Now what you're going to do from here is you're going to flick the string off your thumb and then open up this loop here and catch it. Alright? So 3, 2, 1, whoop, like that. Alright? I missed it but that's generally what you're doing. So land onto the trapeze, I mean the mount type thing, land onto the string, flick off, open up and then land. Okay? It's very difficult to slow down and break up, but I'm trying to do my best. Part three. Now this is the hardest part, and it's very, very difficult to understand. You can't see it in slow motion. So, pretty much the third part is land a trapeze, boom, boom, boom. Right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna get your throw hand, and you're gonna loop it around, and then you're gonna let the string come off the thumb, and then you're gonna open up this loop and catch it on top of that. Right? Like so. Okay? That was pretty difficult, right? But if you did it correctly, you should be in the same mount that you began with. So, if you wanted to, you could literally make that part a repeater. Okay? So there, there, boom, and you should be back to where you came from. So you could do it over and over again. Okay? The trick wasn't so hard. That's step three, and step four is into the chopstick mount, out onto the string, landing on there, put the hand over, catch the loop, right? And now, instead of catching the loop, what you're going to do is you're going to flick it over again, right? But instead of landing on both strings, you're only going to land on the one string. The one front string, right? So, see this? Right now? That's what it's like. And I'm going to be landing on that string there, right? Like so. And then, that'll turn into a triangle, okay? So, again, start from a trapeze, turn it in, there, and then, whoops, land onto there, right? Then twirl that, catch it from the loop, and then this time, swing it over again and land on the front string, like so, right? And then after you bring it back, this string right here, so the yo-yo will look like that, just push it in there and you have a triangle, you can pop it out from the front. Okay, so it's a pretty difficult trick. It's a very, very difficult trick, in fact. Um, if you're not sound at chopsticks, I wouldn't recommend learning this trick, but... Yeah, it's very difficult. It took me a really, really long time to land in all the takes, so... I'm just explaining the concepts behind it. Um, I can't land it with 100% accuracy, but... Yeah, very, very difficult trick. Very difficult to understand the concepts. 
Um, Takeshi Matsuura is a real genius when it comes to creating a trick like that. So, yeah, if you like this, give it a thumbs up so you know you guys like and I can post more of it. And I've decided that Wednesdays are going to be my um, weekly upload day. So if you want to watch any of my videos, I'll always post it on Wednesdays every week, okay? So other than that, good luck and see you guys next time.